Happy birthday, mom. I wish I was there to celebrate with you today, but since I can't be, I wanted to do something special just to let you know how important you are, not just to me, but to everyone who's lucky enough to know you. Uh, I can't think of one single memory that's my favorite. I just think about how amazing my childhood was, thanks to you and dad. Um, but just all the things that you did to make holidays magical, um, all the activities you put us in, like Girl Scouts and dance. Thank you for being my biggest fan in my basketball days. I think of all the great times we had when you would come to visit me at William & Mary. And um, just thanks for screaming at all those refs for me and backing me up always being on my side, uh, all the albums, the photo albums and memories you made me with my newspaper articles. Uh, that's just priceless. And just so you just go above and beyond your mom duties. And thank you for that. You're such a beautiful person inside and out. I hope I age as gracefully as you. I would be so happy to look at, look like you at 65. And um, I just hope you have the best day. I love you so much. Um, God bless you. Mwah. Mwah. Love you. Hi, Debbie. It's Sharon. I can't believe you are 65. You look so fabulous. You are an inspiration to us all. I have the fondest memories of Penn State when we lived in Cedarbrook. And I just would love when Chuck would come on a Friday night before a home game to say goodbye to you because he had to go with the team to a hotel. And then we would get ready the next morning and go to the games together and have the best time ever, ever in college. So when I think of my Penn State days, I think of we are because we were the very best of roommates. I wish you love, happiness, good health, and take care of that gorgeous, gorgeous family that you have created. Love you. Hope to celebrate soon. Bye-bye. Mom, happy birthday. We both hope that you have lots of fun today and are surrounded by all the generosity you try to surround others with. And Chico would like to give you a kiss on the face for your birthday because he knows how much you like it. Hi, Aunt Debbie. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. We hope you're enjoying your day. We, we love, love you. you. 65 years old, huh? Well, I think we all practiced being old many years ago. The first time we practiced being old together, we just bought this uh, and built this movie theater in our house. And we invited our best friends, Chuck and Debbie, over for a party night. We were going to eat, drink, and be merry, and we were going to watch a movie, and we were just going to have a great time. Well, we ate, and we had a couple drinks, and we came downstairs and put on Mission Impossible. And we didn't get through the first three minutes, and we had an entire chorus of snoring. So us young party animals that we were practiced being old even back then. I hope you're good at being old. I'm sure you are. And Denise and I wish you nothing but the best in our love. And hey, Charlie. Hey, look, Charlie, named after Chuck. Well, we wish you, we wish you the best. Happy birthday. We love Happy you very birthday. much. Take care. Sister, sister, there were never such devoted sisters. Never had to. Here's to 65 years, Debbie. May God bless you with health, happiness, peace, and especially his love. Happy birthday. Cheers. Love you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Debbie. Cha-cha-cha. 
Happy birthday to you and many more. Ta -da! <laughs> Love you. Happy birthday, Davia. Hi, Mom. So for your birthday, I wanted to reenact a couple of my favorite Debbie-isms. <gasps> wings? You want wings? I want something. I want something. I don't know what I want, but I want something. No kidding. Skin hanging. Hanging. And of course, that time at the mall when you told me about your stiff neck and all of a sudden went. <laughs> Anyways, mom, I just wanted to wish you a very happy 65th birthday and tell you how much I love you and appreciate you. You'll always be the first phone call whenever something is happy or whenever something is sad. I know you'll always be there for me and support me through everything. And for that, I'm forever grateful. So blessed to have you as my mom. Love you forever. Hey, Deb, it's Kim and I. We're just calling to wish you a happy birthday. Have a good one. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and Chuck real soon. Happy birthday, Deb. Make sure Chuck takes you out and out of the town tonight and have a great celebration. Hope you enjoy your entire day and weekend. Take care. Happy birthday, Aunt Debbie. Um, happy birthday, Aunt Debbie. It's my birthday, too. <gasps> birthday, twins. Dean, say happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. Hi, Debbie. This is your friend, Lori. I just wanted to wish you a happy 65th birthday. Please remember, I am, a, I am and always will be younger than you. I just want to remind you of a time, and this confirms what good friends we are, the time when I showed up at your house with an appetizer dish for a gift exchange party and no one else was there but i still came and rang the doorbell chuck eventually came to the door you were in your pajamas you guys invited me in and i was like eh, the party's not tonight is it no you're off by one week chuck said so i handed my appetizer to you guys and said please enjoy and I'll be back next week. Now that is true friendship. Love you, Debbie, and happy 65th birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Debbie. Um, thank you for all that you do uh, for our family. Every summer is amazing. And Kylie wants to thank you. And just thank you for your generosity and everything that you do. And I uh, wish we could be there during this time, but we'll see you very soon. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy this gift. Happy birthday, Gaga. Happy birthday, Gaga. Love you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Debbie. Hope you have a good one. Mike and Kathy Morosky here from Caldwell, Idaho, near Boise. Um, happy birthday, Debbie. 65, wow. Uh, what great memories we have of that year plus or so when we were kids in uh, Atlanta and... Uh, all the best, and, and again, just want to say happy birthday. Hope you're really doing well. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday from Sid. <laughs> happy birthday, Mom. I love you. We love, love you, you, Gaga. And I, I love sleeping you. over at your house. Happy birthday. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Deb. Happy 65. Hope you have many more. Happy birthday, baby. Hi, Debbie. Happy birthday, beautiful sister. Growing up, I've always looked up to you and admired you so much. I was always so proud to say you were my sister. 
So today on your birthday, I hope you have a wonderful day. And just know that I love you more than words can say. And the best is yet to come. Love you. Hey Debbie, it's Rosemary. Happy 65th birthday. Wow, can you believe it's 65 years? Where has the time gone? We met at South Junior High. We were like 12 years old in seventh grade. So we've been friends for 53 wonderful years. I'm so blessed to call you my friend. We've had so much fun back in the junior high days, back when we had the dances in the cafeteria, this to 10th grade when Miss Lynn took us to Seven Springs. That was the best time ever. Got to stay in our little cabin we were so cool at that pool. <laughs> good times, good times. But looking forward to more times, hopefully soon. But you are a wonderful person. You are so kind, sweet, caring, a beautiful person. I'm so blessed to call you my friend. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Debbie. I love you. Thinking about you, and I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks for always being a great sister and for playing with me when I was a little boy and always being willing to get up on Saturday and watch Ruby Roo with me. I love you. Bye. Hello, Deb. This is Chuck. I'm making my happy birthday video for you out in the car on one of my trips to the store so you wouldn't be tipped off to this little treat that Emily has put together for you. I think it was a great idea. First of all, I want to wish you just a tremendous 65th birthday. I'm happy for you. Been extremely happy these 43 years that we've been married. And it's been a great time. I look back on some of the memories. Uh, every, every marriage has its highs and lows, but we've had an overwhelmingly number of highs and very few lows. And go back to the very beginning when Father Oris messed up our wedding vows and wished that we'd be together in sickness and in death. Uh, my brother Clint fainted, of course, as my best man, and I had to help him off the stage. And then uh, I think of our honeymoon, very short honeymoon, a couple of days in Ocean City and probably the worst little flea bag hotel room you could ever find, the cheapest that money could possibly buy, of course. And it was so short because I had to go to training camp for Penn State football the next day, the next couple of days. And uh, then, of course, our time in Atlanta was interesting. I remember one time when we went to church. It was a packed house. The congregation was able to come up front and be, be blessed by the priest. When it was my turn to go up, I went up, bent over to be blessed, and my pants split all the way from the bottom up to the belt, up the back seam. So there I was for the whole congregation to see and laugh at. I'm sure you got a kick out of that. And the years went on, many happy events. The happiest days of my life were when our three daughters came into the world. I just love them so much and they were just so proud of you and happy. And uh, it's been a tremendous time, you know, to have them as our daughters and have our family. You're the greatest, Deb. I hope for 65 more great years with you. Happy, happy birthday. Debbie, I wish you a happy birthday. God bless you, and I love you.